to be your loving and devoted wife. I promise I will honor and love you and that I will remain with you in sickness and in health, in happiness or in sorrow, for richer or for richer, we don't know, sorry, sorry. <laughs> to you as long as we both shall live. And James, would you have the vows you've made sealed by the gift of a ring? If I may have We've already noticed what's uh, uh, traditional, but it's equally significant, and that is the presentation and exchange of rings. Universally, the symbol of the purity of the metal, indicating the purity of James' love that, in fact, it, uh, offers you this gift. It's made of an unending circle. And likewise, indicating the unending nature of the vows that we have heard, but again, more so, the love that we feel. The ring will be a token to each of you, but will be a sign to all concerning the unity of your love. James says you place the ring on the wedding finger of your bride. Would you again repeat after me? these phrases, and that is Linda, with this ring, Linda, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and I offer this, would you say, I offer this, I offer this, as a symbol, as a symbol, of our friendship, of our friendship, our trust, our trust. and our everlasting love, and our everlasting love, and I must get you to hold that up and show the honor. That's one of the most beautiful rings <laughs> And likewise, Linda, as you place the ring on the wedding finger of your groom, would you repeat after me these phrases? That is, James, with this ring, I thee wed. And I offer this as a symbol of our friendship, our trust, and our everlasting love. And there are some other matters we're going to do in uh, just a moment. And we've got time for a couple of other very surprising stories.